Hi, these are the basic steps to get Wallworm installed into 3ds Max and get you up and running. First, go to dev.wallworm.com. Then you'll find download links on the site. There are two places. In the navigation menu, under model tools, you'll find download Wallworm. And also on the right hand side of all pages, you'll find a link that says download Wallworm. Clicking either one of those will bring up a window prompting you to download the zip file. At this point it doesn't matter where we save it to, but it does matter that you keep track of where you saved it to. So I'm going to hit open folder and it's going to take me to my downloads folder and I'm going to open up the zip file. And it is a folder called wallworm.com. That folder is what we're interested in right now. Open up another Windows Explorer window and browse to where you have 3ds Max installed. In this case it's C Program Files Autodesk 3ds Max 2014. Inside there is a folder called Scripts. What you want to do is drag that folder called wallworm.com from your zip file into your Scripts folder inside Max. If it asks you for permission to do anything you have to hit yes and yes and yes over and over. Once that's done we can go into 3ds Max and what we need to do is click the scripts menu button and choose run script. Now assuming you installed Wallworm correctly you should see a folder inside of your scripts folder that says wallworm.com. If you double click that you'll notice that there are a bunch of folders in one file called install or install.ms. All you need to do is double click that file. Wallworm is going to tell you that it added some menus and it's going to take us to the configuration menu. And it's going to tell us to please set up our paths. Hit OK. At this point you can start typing in or making changes to these settings but there's a new feature that will set some of these paths based off of uh, some game settings you can find in your games. In this example we're going to import Global Offensive and Global Offensive is located on my computer at Program Files times 86 Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and Bin. Bin is important because that is the folder that has the file we're looking for. In fact you'll notice at the top of this window it says import game settings from gameconfig.txt in your bin folder. In this folder is a file called gameconfig.txt. If I double click that it's going to import and add a new preset down here called Counter-Strike Global Offensive. We select that and now we'll change all of my settings in here to reflect that those are the paths for this game. Now some of the settings in here are not things that I currently have as my own personal settings but are the defaults. You may go through and change them as you need but I'm going to click here those that I think you should have checked and I would give myself a couple default paths for my models and materials I'm just going to use the name my name in, in particular plus you can make as many as these you want later down the road and my projects is one that it makes by default and there we go